I'm going to show you how you can save um, 90 to 95 percent on a lot of your medications, maybe most. Um, <clears throat> you don't believe that, do you? Well, just watch and see. I was at a movie last night, Friday night, with my wife, and my cell phone started going off in terms of uh, text messages. I, fortunately, I had it on vibrate, so it didn't bother her, and I didn't take it out of my pocket. I was glad I didn't. It was a friend of mine, a, um, and a patient, who's also a patient, but here's the thing. He's a healthcare entrepreneur. He's built a few companies in healthcare, one of them being managed care. So he knows this space. He knows managed healthcare. He was uh, texting me to let me know that the pharmacy had charged him a lot of money and was wondering why I was using such expensive drugs. Uh, just wanted me to know that. Well, <clears throat> here's the medication, Ramapril. Ramapril is an old medication. I'm not going to get too deep into the details other than to say it's been around forever. Uh, because Ramapril is what I take, and people have commented about my cough. I take it anyway and just deal with the cough because I used to take Losartan. Losartan is an ARB. It was a whole new set of medications that was developed, and they charge a lot more for them. The ARBs don't have that cough that you get with the ACE inhibitors. Now, why am I going into that? Again, to just show you that the old cheap ACE inhibitors are what we use, and the pharmacies are still way overcharging it. I asked him how much a little bit later on. He said $200. If you look at this GoodRx uh, page, you'll see uh, the most common version of Ramapril is around $10, 91% off of the average retail price of $123. So you could go in and compare ACE inhibitors. Now, wait a minute. You've never heard of GoodRx, right? And what is it? GoodRx is not, a, uh, it's not an insurance uh, system. You don't pay dues. You don't pay premiums. It's just a, a buying co-op, cooperative. They go out and negotiate with pharmacy providers to see what the best price is they can get, and then they share that price with you. So when, you, when they talk about $10, they're not talking about a copay here. They're talking about the entire price of the drugs. And guess what? The pharmacies that are selling it to good RX uh, cooperative participants are still making money off of that 10 bucks. So guess how much the pharmacies that are charging 123 are making? And guess how much the pharmacy that charged my friend $200 yesterday made off of their his prescription for Ramapril? So now again, never heard of good RX? Uh, well, I would say look, we've got what at this point uh, about 20,000 subscribers. We get about uh, 10 to 12,000 uh, views per day, but look at this. We did a, John did a great video that included the good RX card. And as you can see here, totally free, 90 day supply versus 30 days, covers all generics, low co-payment, uh, like Ramapril. And um, <clears throat> how many people have actually watched this video? 136 views. So I asked John the other day if he would mind remaking or maybe updating it because it has a lot to do with how to take care of and shepherd your and your family's own finances as you try to navigate these difficult waters that are healthcare, uh, the healthcare marketplace, the healthcare uh, jungle, the healthcare environment. Now let's, uh, to finish up, let's go back and look at what you can um, what you should be paying for uh, 90 capsules of Ramapril. Okay, here at Walmart, 10 bucks. Albertsons, 14 bucks. Costco, 14 bucks. Health Warehouse, 14. Safeway, 15. Ma Ma uh, Myers Pharmacy, uh, 16 bucks. Well, what about, and it was my friend's uh, pharmacy was a Walgreens, so we'll look at that in just a second. First of all, Kroger, uh, I get mine from Kroger. We live about a, uh, a mile from there. 
And um, again, I don't I don't have significant uh, copays, and I could I could pay for the whole thing for sixteen bucks. Now, <clears throat> uh, let's look at some of the other pharmacies. CVS and Target are significantly higher at forty bucks. Walgreens is sixty-seven bucks with a coupon, um, and Rite Aid is sixty-seven bucks as well. So again, um, the cash price is one hundred and fifty at Walgreens, and again, the pharmacy that charged my friend last night two hundred bucks. So <clears throat> you have to do a couple of things. You have to uh, to sign up, you have to first of all know about something like GoodRx. Then, secondly, you have to know how to. Um, you have to be willing to go ahead, sign up for it, and navigate through and make a few phone calls. Um, I can tell you one thing: my friend certainly wishes that he had. Uh, he certainly wouldn't have gone to uh, the Walgreens pharmacy had he done that. Uh, I think he'd have gone to Walmart. And this is not Walgreens versus Walmart, although you do tend to see a lot of that. Um, in a previous uh, gig, previous job, I did work with uh, Kroger. was uh, something analogous to their uh, corporate medical officer. And it was very, very clear that these pharmacies like, uh, these large retailers like um, Kroger and, um, and, um, Walmart are looking to get patients in the door for the entire shopping experience. Guys like Walgreens and uh, Target are a little bit more um, uh, aggressive in terms of their pricing. Thank you for your attention.